Hello again, people. That's right, I scrapped the intro. I thought it sucked as well. Okay, let's see here. Um, what was I gonna do? Uh -huh. All right, uh, I'm a little bit sorry for um, not making a video in so long. And now I just remember what I was gonna do. That's the backside of not making videos. Um, you can't remember what you were gonna do. Okay, I have these three, but didn't I have more iron? I had tons of more iron. Okay, now first of all, let's make a bucket. Ooh. I can use this as fire fuel or whatever. Um, okay, boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, I made a bucket, and I need to eat. I was going to make something else. Okay, I need to make a spade, or a shovel, or whatever. Uh, and I also need to make a wooden hoe. Not a wooden hoe. God damn it. Um, okay, now that wasn't it. Is it? There we go. There we go. An iron hoe. Uh, I don't need grass. I don't need dirt. I don't need seeds. I don't need leather. Um, I don't need these things either. Mm, okay, let's see. So, first of all, we're gonna make a sugarcane farm. But for that, we'll. Oh, yeah, I found some sugarcane right away. Haven't really been looking for it, so it might take me a while to find it. But I hope you're patient. Um. So yeah, as I said, in this video we're gonna make a sugarcane farm. Uh, if I have the time, I'm also going to make or uh, start mining for um, what's it called uh, diamonds. But we'll see if I get that or not. <laughs> Where could it possibly be? I guess I should go out to the ocean and just follow it around. Follow the shore. Alright. Okay. So, I should find some sugar cane. If I go this way, I will see. And also, by the way, I have to thank all my friends for all the awesome feedback that I got uh, from the third video. Uh, it's not really posted in the comments, but I got a lot from friends, both in real life and online. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot for that. God damn it, no sugarcane. I need sugar cane. Chickens. Din, 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 din. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry if I'm not, I don't sound as excited as I did in the last video today. I'm a bit tired, but I hope that's okay. I just felt like after all this time I really needed to make a video. And, um, well, regarding making a new video, I haven't made one in quite a while. And you may wonder why I haven't done that, since I said that I was gonna make videos more often, and there I found some sugarcane. But anyway, um, I thought about making one. I've been thinking about making a new video every day since, like, last Wednesday or something. Um... But I have been rather busy. Um, last Wednesday, I think that I... I was simply too tired, I think. I can't really remember why I didn't record one then. Uh, 
And on Thursday last week, I was at that Gothenburg book fair that I told you guys about in the second video, um, where they were going to uh, they were going to talk about uh, fair trade, among other things. But actually, the company we went to uh, didn't really talk very much about it. They simply cooperated with fair trade, but they basically knew nothing about it. Or at least, uh, of course they did, or else they wouldn't be co cooperating with it. But um, the girl we spoke to didn't know too much. And that's a hell of a dark cave. It sounds nice. It's not even really a cave, it's like... Ah, oh, this is... Really bugged. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't learn too much about uh, fair trade on that trip. Which is a bit sad, because this is, uh, that's actually why I wanted to go. Um, it was overall a pretty boring day, actually. But it was fun to walk around uh, Gothenburg. Because that's basically what we did. We weren't in the actual fair very much. And so during the Friday I thought like, yeah, why not? Why not make a video? But then uh, we got a party and, um, well, I went to it, obviously. Drank a lot. Don't do that very often. So it was fun as hell. And now it's getting dark outside. I should get back. Follow the sun. And uh, on Saturday and Sunday I was at a lawn again. I'm basically at a lawn every weekend. Um, so yeah. And then um, during Monday I started preparing a little bit for this episode, just looking up some basic facts about fair trade, because I thought, well, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it today, you know. Oh, I thought well, that was a really long sugarcane. If you look at it, like, from here. No, okay, never mind. Anyway, um, I was planning to make uh, a video during Monday, but uh, my brother came over, and I basically never talked to him, so... Um, I decided to spend time with him instead. Um, and then yesterday I was basically pissed at everything. And I had a headache. So I slept through most of the day after school. Uh, so that was kind of like an M log, I guess. Uh, Minecraft log. Instead of a video log. Whatever, that was a really boring one. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go look in this direction for more sugar cane because I'm gonna need more oh yeah baby okay you're dead to me zombie I don't know why I'm killing you but I guess it's just because it's fun okay let's move inside and get to bed see uh, I had enough spaces so yeah also I recently got Borderlands 2 from a friend and I've been looking forward to that game for so long you know so I was like yay and then every time I start it it blue screens my computer so I'm like raging over that I, I want to play it even more now that it do doesn't work on my computer. So yeah, that totally sucks. <sighs> Alright, now we got 22 sugarcane. Um, that's pretty close to enough, I think. I can't see any more sugarcane within reach. And now I'm gonna I, I don't really don't like fighting skeletons in water. But I guess now I have to. We And I need more food again. Damn, my man is hungry. Okay. Let's 
look for some sugar cane again. But anyway, um, I, as I as you noticed the last time I was trying to talk about something rather important, I kind of failed and had to re-record it and then just run the audio over the video. Uh, so I realized that I can't really focus at uh, talking about things that are too close to my heart and playing at the same time. Uh, because I'm a really bad multitasker, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna do a short, uh, really short introduction to a fair trade, and then I guess that you can, if you're interested, read more about it yourself. Um, so yeah, uh, the fair trade mark is it's mainly for companies in the third world. Um, to improve their uh, terms and such. Uh, it is made for the producers mostly, because, um, you know, in the third world, the people are often forced to work uh, for a pretty low salary, and uh, not to mention child's labor and such. So that's what fair trade is for. It's for preventing that, basically. Uh, when you buy fair trade marked products, uh, the producers have been guaranteed a, a higher salary uh, and, well, better working terms overall. Like, well, I I'm not really good with examples, but you know, I think you know what I mean. And, um, well, uh, as I said, child labor and discrimination and all kinds of stuff that really shouldn't be going on um, is work uh, is being worked against as well and now I really should try to find my way uh, because I'm not sure what I where I am anymore but I think that 24 sugarcane should be enough so I'm heading back uh, but anyway and um, they were also uh, granted, uh, or you have to uh, have uh, democratic and organizational rights where you're working, or else you can't be trademarked uh, or fair trademarked as a company. Um, and all of these are really good things, but um, yeah, uh, they also get extra money to help improve the local society around where the comp company is located um, and they who get the money basically decide what they're gonna do with it or their committee at least uh, I guess I just walked right over a cave but anyway so yeah um, and they and that of course can be very well, that can make make you very doubtful, like, well, if they decide what to do with their money, how do I know that it's actually helping anyone? And I wonder that too, <laughs> actually. Um, but anyway, yeah, mostly uh, schools and such are bu uh, built from, those, uh, uh, from that money, uh, apparently. So I guess that's a really good thing, right? And um, you also have to take the environment into account, or the company has to, uh, when you're producing things. So there's a lot of good things that comes from this mark. Uh, but one thing that really should be mentioned is that uh, they send out uh, people who control uh, or what is that word called in English? Hmm. Well, they basically make sure that uh, they don't cheat or that there's no uh, kids working in there or whatever. They come uh, like once a year, I think. I can't really remember. 
Uh, keep in mind that I've only had one lesson in school about this, so yeah. <laughs> um, so they go out to make sure that there's no cheating going on. But as I said, it's only once per year, and they have to announce that they're coming before they're actually there. So if the company owners would like to, they could be uh, fair trademarked uh, with child labor. Uh, they just have to hide the fact that there is child labor going on. Uh, maybe, I don't know, send them home for the day or uh, send them into another room or whatever. I think that they're in uh, the um, people that make sure that everything's correct is there for a few days. But um, yeah, just send them home for a few days or move them to another room or another one of your factories. I don't know. I'm sure that there's a lot of ways to keep it uh, secret still. Um, but it is. Um, it's the thought that counts, you know? <laughs> so. I. I would love to buy more fair trade marked things, but they're often more uh, way more expensive than the normal ones. Um, and that and that is basically, I I think that they should fair trade mark all uh, products uh, in every store in all the world, and then every company has to be uh, has to follow these rules and still uh, or else uh, their company would be shut down and then fair trade wouldn't be more expensive but everyone would get rightful terms at their working places so i think that would be a good idea to do okay so i think that this farm is basically done if i remember correctly i can walk Oh wait, never mind. The, I'm gonna plant sugar canes, right? That's a whole nother story. And it has to be dirt, if I'm correct. Stupid sand. By the way, I need sand. I need to make it a more beautiful house. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. We there we go. That was the last block of sand that I had to remove. Okay. <sighs> I don't do farms very often, actually. But um, I don't know if I actually mentioned the reason to why I'm making a farm. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Uh, but anyway, it's for Because a friend actually suggested uh, you know, I asked uh, for suggestions on What I was going to do in the future um, And he suggested that I would make um, An enchantment table and I've never made one so That sounded like a good idea. So I'm gonna do that Wait. Oh! Now I just fucked it up. I'm have, gonna have to jump on them so they disappear. That's better. <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> yeah, I think they have to grow next to water at least. So I didn't screw up completely. Um, stupid thing. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure the creepers are gonna come up on me any moment now. So, I'm gonna do this, and this, and this, and this. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna have to jump some more on these things. 
And this is just a retarded system. Because apparently it can't measure what block I'm jumping at. On top of, whatever. Um, nine, okay. I wish that I could just walk over them. Here we go, that was fast. And apparently I skipped one. Stupid shit. <laughs> oh, this is seriously so annoying. Anyway, that should be enough. Now then, um, I guess that uh, could be enough for this episode. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't sound as excited this time as I did last time, but I am pretty sure that I will in the future when I'm not tired. I know that I won't be tired in the future. <laughs> um, by the way, there's one thing that I would like you all to do, and that is that I would like you to ask me questions in the comments. And, and then I can reply to them um, in the next episode or whenever I decide to reply to them uh, and you can always do this it's just to make um, the episodes a little more interesting uh, just ask me questions and I will well I, I'm gonna answer them as quickly as I can uh, it can be questions about basically everything uh, if the questions are political by the way um, I it might take me a, a, some time I might have to read about the, the things that you're actually talking about first because of course I don't hear about everything so uh, your question might not pop up in the next episode uh, so just so you know that um, other than that well, I guess there's not much to say really. Just uh, leave me a question or feedback or suggestions or whatever in the comments. And I hope you have a good time and I'll see you next time.